Hi, everyone. How are you today? I hope you're enjoying your Sunday afternoon. Thank you for inviting me to join you. At about 12.52 local time, there was a magnitude 3.47 that USGS downgraded to a 3.0 uh, near Manchester, Ohio. A lot of people in Kentucky said they felt it. Using Google Earth, this here is Ohio. And we'll zoom into the 3.0. Up over here is Cincinnati. And we got the uh, Ohio River. Now this area is part of the uh, real foot fault system, which is part of the new Madrid fault system. And as I did my report about that earthquake down in uh, near the Antarctic yesterday, there's been a lot of reactivation lately of ancient faults, uh, rift systems that failed and never completed their journey of dividing our country and other areas, intercontinent earthquakes. And as I stated, I believe that the movement of the continents has increased of late. Here is the felt report from USGS. And let's zoom in a little bit to some of these earthquakes. They gave it an intensity level of four. Here we got Russellville, um, Tollysboro, Maysville, and we'll bring it out. Yeah, Campbellsville, got one report from there. Saltville, one report there, one over here, all the way over by Baltimore. Wow, they must be earthquake sensitive. Gave an intensity level of three there. Another report up by Cleveland, Rome, Ohio. Right there is Youngstown. We've got Akron, uh, Cleveland, Daytona, uh, Cornersville. So it was originally a 3.7. USGS wants to downplay all these recent earthquakes that people have been reporting they feel there in Ohio, saying since 1776 there's been over 200 earthquakes there in Ohio. But if you break it down, in the last 245 years, there's been 200 earthquakes. So if you average it out, less than one a year. But there's been more than that. On November 7th, there was a magnitude 2.0. Then they're saying there was an aftershock of a 1.1. August 18th, there was a magnitude 1.7. And July, there was a magnitude 1.83. I have two monitors here. This bottom one is from Alm Creek State Park in Ohio. The top one is from uh, Wyanette cave indiana i'll show you the locations of those two all right here's the one monitor uh this one here is wyanette cave and the one over here that one is uh the one in ohio right there is the earthquake so you can see how far they are from where the um, earthquake occurred a few hours before this earthquake, there was signatures of tectonic earthquakes. Um, this here is from the monitor in Indiana. And down here is the monitor from Ohio. Let me extract that so you can see it. I'll make it bigger so you can see the signature. And I'll pull it up. And you can see how it's got sharp edges to this. This here is a monitor from Indiana. I'm going to show you this. That's where I pulled it from. And this is the earthquake as it came in at Indiana. Here we got Ohio. Let me pull this. There it is from Ohio. And I'll show you that it's right before was going on before this earthquake. And the reason I'm bringing it up is because of the real foot rock, uh, rift system the new Madrid fault system. And here we have tectonic like earthquakes. Shallow volcanic it would have a little bit smoother edge surface events and then harmonic tremors. So the best met match is for tectonic like earthquakes. 
and this is what it's currently showing. This is, again here is from Indiana. Let me pull it down and I'll extract it from Ohio right there. And I'll close it and I'll pull this back down so you can see it. This earthquake was definitely larger than what they downgraded it to. I got a 3.28 and I shortened the seismic signature and I'll bring it over. See, I would have actually probably put all right there, which, which comes in as a 3.52. Let me pull this over so you can see it better. Now, originally they said it was a 3.47. Now this is the monitor that came in from Ohio and it's got a long seismic signature on it. See that? And this is what it was showing when I pulled the files. This is why I'm saying the tectonic earthquakes are ongoing. See how it changes and gets a little bit quieter? And we'll go over here. Look at that. Here we have a more updated map of the failed rift system. Okay, we got the mid-continent rift. We got the real foot rift. And there is Ohio. I try to make it a little bit bigger for you, but it gets a little greeny. We got the uh, Greenville front. And see this blue line? And the real foot. Um, the new Madrid fault system. See how it goes through Ohio, Kentucky, down into uh, Tennessee. It actually goes all the way up here to um, Pennsylvania. This whole area going up along the Great Lakes and all the way up through here, all the way down there, eons ago was going to divide the United States uh, and allow the ocean to open up and allow yeah, the water to come in in both directions from Ohio to um, yeah, the, through the Mississippi down there. Yeah, this was all originally going to be separated from the, the uh, western part of the United States. And if you look at the two rift systems, okay, if you wanted to extend it down the lines down, that would have been a large area pulled apart and all underwater. Might have ended up with uh, islands over here going towards the mid-continent rift system. Now, northeastern part of Ohio also has wastewater-induced earthquakes. But like I said, they also got this fault system that I marked out in yellow. That is another um, fault system rift system that failed. We got the St. Lawrence rift system. There's also an area which is real interesting where they had a meteor impact eons ago that created a lot of earthquakes right there at the, the mouth of um, going out into the ocean not far from Prince Edward Island, New Brunswick. Yeah, and they didn't even know that this impact crater happened until they were um, looking at impact cones that was thrown up from the uh, meteor impact. Here's an example of what they look like. I bought one of those on eBay. I have one. Some more examples of them. So they gave it an intensity level of 4 and 3. Uh, four would be during the daytime felt indoors by many, outdoors by a few. At night, you would have been shaken awake. Dishes, windows, doors disturbed. Walls make a creaking sensation like a heavy truck striking a building. Number three would be felt noticeably indoors, especially on the upper floors of buildings. Many people do not recognize it as an earthquake. Standing automobiles may rock slightly. Vibration like a passing truck. And I mentioned three because all the way over here by Washington, uh, Maryland, on the East Coast, Philadelphia, they gave it an intensity level of three. 
which I thought that was real interesting that USGS would give it an intensity level of 3 there. Here at Big Run, it gave it an intensity level of 2. And Flatwoods, an intensity level of 2. Here you can see it was originally as a 3.47 on this article here. And that was a report from Adams County, Ohio. So did you feel this earthquake early this afternoon? If so, please put those comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for subscribing. Thank you very much for your support. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you.